for me, one of the things that really leaps out from, from, from your uh, ex excellent ASA re reports are kind of some of these stock figures, right? So one of the things I was looking at was that I think it was in Uttar Pradesh where where it was sort of 93% yep. of third graders could not read a second grade text. He and, then you had, and then you had this other example, which is again quite striking about, you know, the percentage of kids from between the ages of 14 and 18 who could place their state on the map. So if you could just give, give the audience a sense of this, when you say the difference between aspiration and reality, what does that mean? So our Asar report, we do a very simple thing and unfortunately my purse is not right here with me otherwise I would have shown you the actual test. It's very simple. It has letters, words, uh, uh, a four line paragraph which is at first grade level and a slightly longer story which is at second grade level. And we've been accused a lot of being reductionist and minimalist and you know education is far more than this which I completely agree but at least unless you can read that story you can't really read whatever's in your textbook or what's on your computer screen. Now, if I look at that second grade text and I look at what kids in third grade in India can do, so it's a good example of are the kids ready for what's expected of them from the textbooks. We have a huge variation across the country. So Himachal Pradesh has almost 50% kids in third grade who can do second grade and a very high 20-30% who are just a little bit behind. So I would say that whatever textbooks we are using in Himachal in Standard 3, almost all kids can reach it. And those who can't can be given some extra help. The same thing in UP, as Sadhanan said, about 7% kids can do it. Now clearly we need to do different things in Himachal and different things in UP. And UP also is our biggest, you know, biggest state. Now is this a absolutely hopeless situation? Not at all. We, for example, as Pratham, naturally we feel like we need to work out what the solution can be, how can it be solved quickly, because we have, you know, many million children in UP. And we find that if you use the same set of, you know, resources, which is adults and time and children, that's basically what education is about. Different combinations of these produce different outcomes and some textbooks. We find that even in UP, if, and I, I know people in this room who've been there, if you spend about 100 or 150 hours, but start from where the kid is, doesn't matter that he's in fifth grade and can't read yet. This is not an incurable disease. This can be solved. You can find that this can really move very quickly. So it's a good idea to just get your basics in place quickly, because then you can jump up and do many more things ahead. Just fast forward to age 16 or 17. The same thing that has held you back here. What happens is, I mean, this is true. If you don't build the ground floor of your building, you can't really build the first floor. So if you're still stuck in the construction of the ground floor, your neighbor has built up to eight floors, but you're still stuck because you, you have to build each floor one on top of the other. So there are kids who are at the top of the class who have made it really well. But in Himachal, the top of the class is huge, or bulk of the children are pretty close to the top of the class, and in UP, it's really small. And I think that as we move ahead, you know, what are these kids going to do after eighth grade? With the kinds of learning outcomes that we have, they're not going to go to college. And it's a different discussion about what college is. But they're still, I mean, they're going to be functional citizens of India. Our life expectancy is rising, whether I know how to read or not. And therefore, I need to feel that I can at least participate in something. And so, in eighth grade, to suggest the kinds of solutions we do, people find that you know appalling because how can I be teaching children how to read in eighth grade? My point is they don't know how to do it. Let's do it, and then you know many more things will become possible.